Welcome to Tiny Acres Homestead. So today we are going to can some chili for our meals and jars. And I've got lots and lots of stuff ready to go. So we've got, I usually just put cans. It's easier that way. And these are already chili ready. Chili ready. So that I only need one package of seasoning mix. I've got two pounds of hamburger meat here, mostly thawed out, so it's going to take a little bit to fry it, but we're going to get that done first. To this, maybe closer to two and a half pounds of ground beef, I'm going to add some yeah. minced garlic. This is probably about two tablespoons that I'm adding in here. And then chili powder. Going to see. That's probably about two teeping, two heaping teens, teaspoons. I can't talk today. I'm just gonna mix it all in there and cook it with that. All right, while the ground beef browns up, I'm gonna add two cans of beans, or three cans of beans. I'm sorry, if I don't get them all out, I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna add it to the pan. And these are 15 and a half ounce cans of everything I'm putting in here. Ooh, that made a mess. And these are seasoned diced tomatoes. I've got two cans of these. And I do like the Hunts brand better than the Great Value brand because it's not as chunky. I'm not really a huge fan of chunky tomatoes. And one can of tomato sauce. I'm going to rinse out each of these cans and pour it into this pan. And then I'm going to do the same with that one, with the other cans. Well, this beef browns up. Alright, we probably got about three of those 15 and a half ounce cans full of water put in there. If you can see. And we're going to put these two packets, one for each pan. Now these are going to be pretty full. They're already kind of full, but I need to add the meat that has just got finished browning. So I'm just going to put about half in each pan. I'm not going to drain it or anything, but I do have a slotted spoon. That way I can get some of the grease out, but I'm not worried about getting all of it. All right, we got the chili warmed up. The canner is warming up. And we're just going to put these in our jars. This canner holds seven quarts. We're just going to get these filled up. And I'm not sure if it'll take 
all seven. Fill it up to an inch head space. Try not to make a huge mess. least seven jars probably more Alright, we got seven quarts and four pints. About to put the lid on this. Now the pints won't fit in here right this second. So it's already starting to vent if you can see. I don't think you can see it, but it's already starting to vent there so we're gonna let that vent for a few minutes and then get the weight on there and we're going to process these quarts for 90 minutes and then after they're finished we'll throw the pints in there and do those for 75 and as you can see i made a huge ginormous mess so i'm gonna get this cleaned up there we go all seven quarts out of the canner and pings i've got the four pints in the canner now and they will be done in about 30 minutes or so but I wanted to remind everybody that if you do have some canning videos that you'd like to upload to Facebook or to YouTube don't forget to add hashtag meals in jars so that we can collaborate together and thank you for watching.